One of the themes of the thing was the next door neighbor was in love with her and he was the good kid and he loved her and he paid attention and she was in love with Jared Leto. And um, uh, so in this episode, um, Jared Leto prevails upon the next door neighbor to write him love letters for her because he's a, a doofus at it. And he does, but she finds out that it's actually the kid next door. And there's this scene where in all season long, you've known this kid loves her and, and he, she is about to go to him. And so in a way, it was the culmination of the whole series, and it was a very satisfying moment. And then the Jared Leto character shows up. And I just remember shooting this shot where here's this kid, this lovely, wonderful next door neighbor kid, and you hear Jared's voice, and you pan over, and here comes Jared Leto. And my emotional experience was, oh, this poor kid, there's just no way. There's no way he's gonna win with this guy. And that's how it ended, was she went off with Jared. But I don't remember there being any finality to it. What I wanted to achieve was its remarkable flavor. And I felt like I did that. The scene where Angela gets in the car, Angela played by Claire Dane, got in the car with Jordan that's pretty well known. Um, what was that? Uh, what was that like to shoot? Uh, I, I just know we were shooting that whole last sequence at night, uh, uh, and it all had. I don't actually remember any particular about it, other than that the whole thing had this remarkable feel to it, this remarkable emotional connected feel. Um, also in that last episode, uh, there was a storyline where um, the character Ricky, played by Wilson Cruz, yeah, says out Wilson. loud for the first time that he's gay. Um, what do you recall about shooting that scene? It was, uh, I mean, there hadn't been, I don't think, any opening openly gay teen characters in primetime TV I at that Ricky time. I think Ricky was probably the first. Um, Maybe about how, how you handled it or how, you know, since it was sort of a pioneering kind of a, thing, a scene. Well, first of all, it was important to find out who Ricky was. And uh, then all I tried to do was take care of him. Just make him feel comfortable and support him. And he was wonderful. So, you know, sometimes I used to think, I used to think that I... I had to have something to say, and that that was the job of a director, that I had to say something and I had to make actors do something else. But as time goes on, I feel um, actually the less said, the better. And if it's going well, uh, say, say only praise, only praise. And Ricky was phenomenal.